Hey, Shabbat Shalom, everyone. You know, sometimes from a small little indication somewhere in the Torah, something very, very big can be learned. This week's Parsha, Parsha Truma, God tells the Jewish people to make a sanctuary so I can dwell amongst them. Ve'asuli mikdash ve'shachanti betocham. And in that tabernacle, that mobile sanctuary that accompanied our ancestors in the wilderness for their 40 years, that was the place where the Jewish people went to hear God's word, that was the place where sacrifices and offerings and prayers were given, that was their spiritual center. And the Mishkan had many different parts to it. And probably the most important part was the Aron Kodesh, the Ark of the Covenant. And the Ark of the Covenant, of course, contained the Luchot, contained the, um, the tablets that Moses came down from Sinai with. But what's interesting about the Ark of the Covenant that's different from the rest of the uh, vessels, like the menorah, the mizbeach, um, which was the altar, or the, uh, the, the shulchan, the, the table upon which the showbreads were placed, all of those vessels of the tabernacle had poles. Because you weren't supposed to carry the item itself, you would carry it more respectfully on poles, and then when the item would be placed down, when the Jewish people would encamp in a certain area in the desert, they would pull the poles out and get to work on it. Everything except for the Ark. The Torah tells us, B'tabata Aron, Yu Abadim Lo Yasur Memenu. The poles shall remain in the rings of the Ark. They shall not be removed. Now that little line, why is God being so intent? Leave the poles in the Ark. Which is a little strange because once you put the Ark down, you want to get to work with it. On the tab- you know, in the tabernacle, why are you going to keep the poles? The poles were like the wheels to keep it moving kind of thing. And all the other vessels of the tabernacle, like the, the menorah and everything else, you pulled the poles out and got to work on it. But here, the poles had to always stay there. And the great and late German-Jewish philosopher, Rabbi Samson Rafa Hirsch, said so beautifully, because the Ark contained the Torah. And the Torah has to be ready to be picked up and moved at a moment's notice. Torah is supposed to be mobile. Torah is not supposed to get fixed in any one place. Torah usually gets stuck in shuls. Right? We take Judaism very seriously when we get to a synagogue, we dress up, we put on the kippah, we do what we're supposed to do. And then we go, but Torah was designed, if you look at all the 613 mitzvot, there are more mitzvot pertaining to our regular everyday lives, in our offices, in our kitchens, in our workplaces, uh, on, in our social environment. That's where the Torah is supposed to be. So the poles always remaining fastened to the ark is another way of saying, make sure you bring your Judaism wherever you go. Don't confine your Torah and your Judaism to one place. Don't make it parochial. Because Torah, we say in our prayers, they are our life. And my friends, we don't live our lives in shul, in synagogue. We live our lives on the street, We live our lives doing whatever it is we're doing. And I guarantee you the Torah has something to say about that aspect of life and a way to bring Hashem and holiness into it. And so don't remove the poles. Make sure that the Torah gets brought everywhere and anywhere. Shabbat Shalom.